I use Clairefontaine pastel mat a lot in my work and in this video I'm going to go into detail about how to use this paper effectively with coloured pencils. There are definitely some important things to know about this paper and I'm going to explain the main features, what makes this paper unique and why it's important to know these things and also give all my top tips for working on it. The first key feature of the Clairefontaine pastel mat is, and what makes it unique and great for coloured pencils, is the paper tooth or surface of the paper. Pastel mat has a lot of tooth, so deep hills and valleys in the surface of the paper. It's originally designed for pastels, but it's also really amazing for coloured pencils and it allows you to put down many, many layers so you can build up lovely depth. The downside to this is that it can take quite a while to build up all the layers and get rid of the graininess. So for some people, this can be quite frustrating. I recommend using lots of light layers with light pressure going light to dark. That's how I prefer to work. And you just have to be patient with it because it will eventually blend together. You do just have to have a little bit of patience. I've learnt that I need at least five layers before I start to cover up the graininess on the pastel mat and this means increasing the pressure on the fourth and fifth layer but you can pretty much do as many layers as you want and you'll learn how many layers you can do um, before burnishing just through practice. Another thing to note is don't use graphite on this paper. For some reason it's really difficult to erase so when I'm drawing my outline I usually use one of my coloured pencils for the outline just to help it blend in, it doesn't show through at the end. Either that or I'll use trace down paper so on coloured paper I'll usually use the white. And recommendations for erasing things, I definitely go for a putty eraser. Um, scotch tape does work quite well as well. Another key feature of the pastel mat is it is quite thick paper. It feels like thick card. It feels really luxurious to me and I love working on it. The only thing is the paper does start to curl up at the ends because it's so thick once I've been working on it for a while. So to solve this problem, I usually just stick the paper down onto a board with low tack artist tape like I've done here. Just prevents the ends from curling up and does make things a lot easier to work with and keeps everything flat. So this is just what I like to do. Um, it's up to you what you decide. And because the paper is so thick, it makes it really good to use with solvents if you like to use those to blend your pencils. And it also works really well with my manual pen cutter, my slice manual pen cutter. So you can use a craft knife um, to do this as well, but because the paper's so thick, it won't tear the paper or anything when you use it. So as you can see here, I'm literally just scraping off the pigment and it's not damaging the paper underneath at all, which it might do with other papers. And lastly, one of my favorite things about the pastel mat is it comes in a huge range of colors. A couple of tips about this is the dark papers can generally take a few more layers than the lighter colors I've noticed. The white is quite tricky to work on. It does literally attract everything. So you definitely want to have a putty eraser and scotch tape on hand and a piece of tracing paper underneath your hand to prevent extra smudges. I tend to go for mid-range colours, especially for my portrait, so picking out the mid-range colours in the subject I'm drawing, but have fun and experiment with it, because there's so many colours to experiment with, you can just play about with it. For example, here I've drawn a tiger on green pastel mat, so I haven't really gone with the colours in the fur, but it really brings out the green in the eyes, and I really loved the effect this created. So definitely play about with the colours, use them to your advantage, and just have fun and experiment with them.